डॉक्टर सिरोप गोस्वामी ही इज द प्रोफेसर एंड हेड डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ आर्ट्स एंड संबलपुर यूनिवर्सिटी he has carried out his phd dsc at birbal sahan institute of paleo sciences lucknow he has one patent in his name he is also a uh, boy scout fellow he, he has awarded with the pathani samanta chandrasekhar award in physical science in the year 2011 by the uh, odisha vigyan academy government of odisha he has also received the young scientist award for the year 2008 from odisha vigyan academy government of odisha and also he has the recipient of uh, gopinath mohanty pratibha award in the year 2014 from vigyan prachar samiti he has uh, a number of uh, international papers national papers in his credit and he have uh, very good citation in google scholars so now i request uh, professor sirup goswami sir to deliver his his talk Sir, over this Google platform is over to you, sir. Am I am I audible? Audible, sir. Audible. See, am I audible? Yes, sir. You are audible. Yes, sir. Audible, audible, sir. Audible, visible also. And am visible? Yes, sir. Visible also. Yes, yes, yes. Yes. Ah, please start, sir. Yes. At the set, let me recite a stanza from Rig Veda. Anavadra ha kartava yant visvata. Let all the noble thoughts come to us from every side. I offer humble obeisance to my dear teacher, Professor Madhubikas, Vice Chancellor, Pakir Mohan University. The S. Esteemed guest of today's webinar, Dr. Ranjit Rath, Director General, Geological Survey of India. Venerable guest of honor, Professor Debes Sinha, a world-certified eminent microbiologist. Professor S. Devuri, Chairman of the Council. The resource person, Professor L. Ilango, an internationally renowned hydrogeologist. Professor, Department of Geology, Anna University. My brother, Dr. Devanna Beura, head Department of Geology, Utkal University. My sister, Dr. Nandita Mahal, head and research professor, Akhil Mohan University. Dr. Rajalin Das, my younger brother, Asim, Tun and Smriti. These scholars. Lastly, not the least, India student friends. Next thought. Minutes. I shall show you photos of each and every flora and fauna. Plant and animal existed in India. Fossil of leaves, fructifications, seeds, roots, stems, trunks. How did the fossil specimens be shown to you? As if you will feel that you will be visiting a. Trunk, trunk, trunk fossils, the plant, the fossil in time, and then we can study it. Vegetational instructions in different times for me and are made to be shown to you all who have a feel of your presence in a maze of our forest. I shall show you a video. After two minutes, some hundreds of animals existed during Permian. These animals were the beautiful lives of the Permian forest. The in next minutes, let us virtual tour Permian forest and enjoy. Is my face visible now? 
हेलो इज माय स्लाइड विजिबल नाउ यस सर यस सर यस सर लेट अस सेवे वर्चुअल टू टू पॉर्मियन फर्स्ट You all know principles of uniform entirety. The present is known to us. The past can be interpreted by possible evidences. The strain can be plotted. Future can be predicted of the astrology. Today we will discuss about the past. Typical flora, typical Gondwana flora, developed within the context of Gondwana land during this period. Gondwana flora of India is completely divided into three parts. Which Gondwana flora? Gustaris that is known as Gustaris flora of Permian period, Middle Gondwana flora that is Diapodium flora of Triassic age, and Upper Gondwana flora of Tilopylum flora of Cretaceous age. Do you know, my dear students, friends, that for the first time during Devonian, the forest appeared in the Earth surface. Then there was luxuriant growth of plants. do not be ferocious and then the next forest is form forest so and during the carboniferous the flora is popular in as a laboratory flora so there was fall of laboratory flora and rise of gustavari flora in the beginning of the permian change in geology was also observed in transformation from grand spore assemblages to cottony sites and catiponites assemblages Some important general and what you have seen of raptorius flora are also existed in gossaptorius flora to carnivorous time it means that gossaptorius flora probably evolved from pre-existing carboniferous stock through saltations at the end of permian several changes in the lithosphere occurred in changes in proportion of the atmospheric gases rotation of plate transgression of rotation of plate transgression of sea change in the nature Then in the dynamics of the entire fluvial systems is registered as distinct. Distinct part of change of flora that is from gossaptorius to die dominance. However, alteration was slow and the climate has not drastically improved. Gossaptorius is what known as Permian flora. May come when the ice age or may be slightly younger than it. In some directions. Presence of fully preserved stems with growths from some glaciers of the formation may indicate that its earlier members coexisted with late Carboniferous glaciers. The glossopters itself and most of all the members of this flora are due to the glacial origin. The flora soon reached its climax under a damp and wet temperature climate in Mars environment. This is evident in the situation with huge number of fossils in. The general absence of growth things in petrified in fossil stem fossils with lower Gondwana rocks. The present echoes are found in Permian formations only. The Gustaris flora members are found in rock formations of lower Gondwana sequence of the type area such as Tachi, Karbari, Barakar, Barangme, their single formation and their equivalent sequence in other Gondwana vessels. The climate warmed at the high seas. The late Carboniferous and early Permian rich flora evolved that was dominant by Gossaptorius. That is what known as Permian flora. The first time gingos and conifers make their appearance in the fossil record, so they became the part of the Permian forest for the time. It was first time, and there were tree ferns, cycads, and even spin-off islands during Permian. A dense, though swamp vegetation, lots of seed ferns, and possibly mosses like peat. For by capos grew dense masses. This is what Permian uh, period into different epochs: Lopingian, Gondwanian, and Sisus and Sisularian. And each epoch is divided into different days. Alchi formation: the age of Alchi formation is early Assyrian to early Sumerian. The age of Karnataka formation is late Sumerian. into ancient age of akari akins akinchian to pangurian age maran age of pan major is rodian lower running and belong to orian to canian age and upper running period belong to ujpingian and chasingian age and this slide demonstrates the least index fossils of each formation 
that is Talji, Kapari, Barakar, Baran Majas, Lower Kam Thiend. And interestingly, the Baran Majas is barren of course and devoid of plant mega fossils, though recently few plant fossils have already been reported from barren major, major fossils. It is because change in phase is rather than paucity of floral element. There was oxidizing environment, the ecological conditions were arid with dry, hot and wet humid spells. The tectonic setup was not stable enough, the poison regime was not conducive. Let me spell out the significance of Permian flora and fauna. The paleoecology, paleoenvironment, paleobiodiversity, paleobiogeography, paleolandscape, paleovegetations, climate, paleotectonics can be demonstrated by studying fossils of Permian forest. The end of climate change can be revealed by stratigraphic correlation can be detected. Worldwide intercontinental correlation of sediments can be made. So Permian forests comprise both vascular and non-vascular plants. Non-vascular plants merely bryophytes and vascular plants consists of eridophytes and gymnosperms. So Permian forests comprise of bryophytes, eridophytes and gymnosperms. Bryophytes include mosses, liverworts and hornworts, the, mo the most primitive plants, non-vascular plants. Then pteridophytes consists of four plant orders, lycopodials, equisitals, spinophyllids, and filicals. Lycopodials consists of an important genera, what is known as cyclodendron. Equisitals genera are Cygenera, Ranigangia, Pylotheca, Paracalamites, Tatapania, Bengalia. Spinophyllids genera are Trigegia, Bellightfootia, Spinophyllum. These are all different plants of Permian time. And filicals genera are Neomeropteris, Digocotheca, Dicotomopteris. In what the chaps is. Okay. Similarly, the gymnosperm comprises of five orders, codiatels, cycatels, gingoels, coniferals, and grossopteridals. The codiatel and genera are nigrophytes, codites, unifylum, caugifylum. The cycatels are macrotherium pteris, seedopteris. Gingoels genus is gingoites, coniferals genus is boreadia, and grossopteridals genera are different types. Leaf, the, there are different leaf forms, Subteris, Surungiphylum, Gangomopteris, Paleobiteria, there are fossils, Autocaria, Scutum, Dictyopteridium, Sinotheca, Glossotheca, Eritimonia, Partha, Dhenkania, and Plumnostidiostrabus, and root form is Vertebraria, seed form is Codicarpus, Rotundrabus, Samoropsis, etc., and Trong, Dioxylon. So, let me discuss the bryophyte. The bryophyte is a traditional name used to refer embryophytes that do not have vascular plants. And, and are divided into three different types, mosses, liverworts, and hornworts. These are present-day mosses, so that you can feel how, how was the present-day mosses, how was the Permian mosses, And these are, this is a present day mo uh, a, a forest covered with mosses. So you can feel in your mind's eye how the Permian forest would be looking. These are also mosses. These are all hornworts, living hornworts, so that you can think in your mind's eye how they are hornworts. This is living hornworts, this is living liverworts. This is a fossil bryophytes. So let me discuss about peridophytes. I have already discussed the peridophytes are the, the fast vascular plants that, that reproduce and disperse via spores. They, did not, they do not have any seeds, fruits, flowers because they produce neither flowers nor seeds. They are referred to cryptogams. It includes, I've already told, different orders, four orders, lycopodials, sequicitals, spinophyllids, and filicals. Lycopodials, the oldest exempt living vascular plant division, and is around 410 million years old. And this one is a lyco is a the important lycopodial genus. That is what cyclodendron, and this is the fossil of cyclodendron. And this is the reconstruction of cyclodendron tree plant. And these are present day lycopodials. So that you can feel in mind's eye how was the cyclodendron plant by looking at the present day lycopodials. This is also a fossil cyclodendron. Let me discuss about equisitals. 
Equestrius was held to be the sole member of class Equestrius. And let me discuss the different genera of Equestrius one by one. Let, let me show you the fossils of different genera and their reconstruction. Now, this is what fossils of Equestrius stain. The imp the one of the most imperative genus of the Equestrius sorter is Cygenera. We all know. This is the fossils of Cygenura, the fossils of Cygenura, and this is the reconstruction of Cygenura plant. This is the reconstruction of Cygenura plant. That is what Cygenura plant would be looking, the, the, the Cygenura plant, this Cygenura plant would be looking like this during the Permian. This is an exclusive Cygenura forest. And it is recently published in Geology Society of India, where only Cygenera fossils were found, nothing else. There are different species of Cygenera. Then let me discuss about the next genus of Equistels, Calamites. This is the fossils of Calamites. This is fossils of Calamites. This is the reconstruction of Calamite plant. This is the reconstruction of Calamite plant. And the next genus, genus, important genus is Enularia. This is the Enularia fossils, and this is the reconstruction of Enularia plant. And let, next important genus is Apicusitals order is Ranigangia. And next one is Bengalia. And the first fossil is fossils of Ranigangia, where leaves are attached to each other. And the second one is the fossils of Bengalia, where leaves are apart from each other. As compared to Bengalia, the number of leaves in Rani Ganja is much more and they are not free from each other up to the north at least. The genus Bengalia has leaves apparently be free up to the base. This is the reconstruction of Rani, Rani Ganja Bengalensis. Uh, this is the reconstruction of plant Bengalia Rani Ganjanesis. And next, let me discuss about the genus Pylotheca. This is the Phyllotheca fossils, and this is the reconstruction of Phyllotheca plant. This is the reconstruction of Phyllotheca plant. So you can think in your mind's eye how. Then let me show you the present details. So you will have an idea that how was the forest of Formian comprising Equisitalian plants, and how. Where the equestrian plants and equestrian plants would be looking like this. And let me discuss about the next important order, spinophyllums. It comprises of two important genus, spinophyllum, and this is the reconstruction of spinophyllum, and these are as a fossils of spinophyllum. Due to time constant, I'm not discussing details of these fossils. And this is the reconstruction of spinophyllum, spinophyllum plant. And next important genus of spinophyllum is Trigigia. This is the Trigigia fossils reported by us. And this is the reconstruction of Trigigia speciosa plant of Permian. This is the fossils of Benlightfootia, again another spinophyllus. And then let me discuss about one of the most important order, Pilicals. There are different genera of filicals, spinopteris, neomeropteris, dichotomopteris, and this is the neomeropteris hugesi fossil, this is the neomeropteris talcherans fossil, this is a dichotomopteris fossil, and this is a neomeropteris. And these are different species of neomeropteris, and this is a beautiful reconstruction of neomeropteris plant. And it's made on the basis of the samples collected from well, pottery from even we cold, and this is different species of dichotomopteris, and this is another uh, fossil specimen that is known as Gondwanidium, otherwise known as what Picharopsis, and this is a reconstruction of another form, Digigotheca pegopteroids. Then let me discuss about another important group, Gymnosperm. Gymnosperms are seed bearing. No 
closed form again includes five orders let me discuss one by one all the genera included in these orders this is an oigar types of fossils the most imperative quadrilateral genera found in india this is a plant agathis robusta very similar the, the, their leaves are very similar to noigar thapsis so you can think looking at this plant that how was the noigar thapsis how was the noigar thapsis plant so noigar thapsis plant would be looking like this only there are different species of noigar thapsis and the next important gen genus is uriphyllum and there are uriphyllum fossils collected by us there are all uriphyllum fossils collected by us from different basins gondwana lower gondwana basins of india and these are different species of uriphyllum then one of the rare quadrilateral genus is caudiphyllum this is the caudiphyllum fossils and this is the a probable possible reconstruction of quadrilateral plant having fructifications this is a quadrilateral reconstruction of quadrilateral branch of a quadrilateral plant and this is a reconstruction of quadrilateral and please so that by looking at this slide you can think in mind say how was the quadrilateral how was the forest comprising quadrilateral plants during permian then the trunk of this fossils and trunk of this gross of cradles is popularly known as dadaxilon the genus dadaxilon and these are trunk fossils then let me discuss about the gingo whales the most important species is the only species is gingo whites the only genus is gingo whites this is a gingo whites fossil specimens and there are a number of gingo whites uh, species of gingo whites genus and these are all living gingo fossils living gingo plants and this is a gingo fossils so again you can and you can think that how was the gingo plant during permian then next is coniferals the, the most important genus of coniferals is boreadia this is the fossils of boreadia and this is a living coniferals so that you can Think how was the plant of Boreadia? And this is let me discuss about cycadels. There are two important genera of cycadels: Cydoctenis and Macrotheniopteris. This is a Macrotheniopteris fossil. Uh, fossil. These are the reconstruction of cycadel cycadelian plant. This is a living cycadels, so that you can know. This is a reconstruction of cycadelian Permian cycadelian plants. cycadels and these are all living cycadels so that you, you have an idea about this the appearance of ormian cycadelian plant cycadels then let me discuss about the most important uh, order of the gymnosperm that is glossopteridales there are four important genera surungiphylum pelobitaria glossopteris and gangomopteris the surangi phylum is just like glossopteris has an articulate apex uh, articulate venations and has a prominent midrib but its base is at some of different type hasted type this is a different type of base so a new genus is erected and it is known as surangi phylum these are all surangi phylum fossils this is a fossils of paleobitaria and where the midrib is present but it's present up to 3/4 of the lamina and this is a gangomopteris at a, a figure of gangomopteris who is does not have midrib midrib is absent but has reticulate venation there are different types of gangomopteris and these are all gangomopteris fossils reported by us gangomopteris obtusifolia boreadica angustifolia hispida etc these are all gangomopteris fossils and this is reconstruction of gangomopteris plants made by us And this is a root fossils, the protuberia, the root of 
groups of pteridal plants, groups of pteridal plants. And these are seed fossils of Formian times called Icarpus, Rotundocarpus, Summeropsis, Paleocarpus, and Autophastia. And these are all fossils of seeds. Then let me discuss about the most imperative genus of the gross of pterygial orders. Most imperative genus of the Permian period, which dominated the Permian forest, that is what known as gross of pteris, uh, genus, after which the whole forest is known as gross of pteris floral forest. The whole flora is known as gross of pteris flora. So it is, Though it is only a genus, it is only one type of plants and gross of pteris floral forest consists of hundreds of plants, but the most dominant plant of the gross of pteris floral forest of Permian forest is the gross of pteris. The gross of pteris has reticulate venations. These are all, there are 130, 130 species of gross of pteris species. Gross of pteris angusti, starting from gross of pteris angustifolia to stenonura, senses to gradients and many more. These are all different types of Glossopteris species. 130 species of Glossopteris are in current use. This is the reconstruction of Glossopteris plants. This, this Glossopteris was deciduous plants. This is the reconstruction of Glossopteris plant. This is the reconstruction of the twig of a gross of trees plant. As it is deciduous during the plants and during the winter, this is the reconstruction of a deciduous gross of trees plants during the winter. Then I've already discussed of Dedoxylon and trunk fossils. Let me show you different trunk fossils. I've already told that I shall show you hundreds of fossil specimens so that you will feel that you will be visiting a plant fossil museum. So these are different trunk fossils. The trunk of Glossopteris plant is known as the, uh, is another is renamed as another genus Dioxylon. There are 130 species of Glossopteris, and however, uh, our research team has proposed that uh, uh, that to reduce 130 to just 20 species that might be considered natural. And these natural 28 species are proposed here. There are all different 28 species. And these are all the fructifications, fruit fossils of gross of pteridals group. Fruit fossils, different fruit fossils. And again, fruit fossils are named as, as different genus. So gross of pteris and almost all Permian genera are, arti are artificial genera because their root is named as different gen genus their seeds are named as are erected as established as different genera their leaves are established as a different genera so these are all artificial genera and these are all fructification fossils reported by us from Talcher coal field then these are all scale leaves which covers the naked seeds of gymnosperms these are all petals like and these are all different types of scale leaves starting from Lidgeronia to Dictive Peridium, Venus to Strobus, and many more. And these are all the fossils of scale leaves. This is all fossils of scale leaves. Interestingly, during the Permian, oh. there was evolution of midrib and PTO and mass from early Permian to late Permian. From during the deposition of Karabari time to the during the deposition of lower Kamthi time. There is no time, time there is time constant. So let me finish within five minutes. The advent of Triassic witnessed a decline of Glossopteris flora. Still, then some Permian genera, Neomeropteris, Glossopteris, continued up to early Triassic, but their preprintation was reduced and simultaneously dichrodium and other related pteridospermic groups appeared. The change of flora from the late Permian to early Triassic is gradual and not abroad. The climate did not change drastically in the beginning of Triassic. Hence, it can be informed that plant life shows a high turnover rather than a mass extinction because numerous innovation in Texas have also been in place at the stratigraphic vicinity of the permanent Triassic boundary. The conclusion is there was no sudden and 
all out extinction of plants during the Permian Triassic boundary. However, the extinction of animals is more than plants during at the Permian Triassic boundary. And let me discuss about one thing that there are records of insect wings in culture basins, and there are records of chewed and partially eaten Grossopteris leaves. There are records of Grossopteris leaves having minute ovoid structures along mid deep along surface of leaf lamina. And large number of Grossopteris leaves with distorted margins strongly confirm that there is a plant animal relationship and there is plant animal, there is animal activity in the plants. These are, these are different plant fossils showing these evidences of plant animal activity. Then let me discuss about the paleo environment. The Talchi assemblage includes Gangopteris, Sotocaria, Arborea. It depicts some could thrive even when the land was largely ice covered, when there was cold climate, severely cold climate. Assemblies of carnivore formation comes to Gangopteris, Uriphylum, Nogrothapsis, Boreadia. All of the leaf forms of both Talchi and Karabari are without mid deep or except narrow mass species of Grossopteris. It has been observed that Gangopteris leaf forms show a marked general, general increase in size from Talchi to lower part. On the contrary, the climate of Barakar and lower country time was conducive for the rapid growth of diversification of Grossopteris species. So, so there is this table demonstrates the paleo climate and paleo vegetations of different time that is from early Permian to late Permian or up to the Triassic that is during the deposition of Talchis or deep sediments to upper country sediments. This is a reconstruction of late Talchir vegetation. The, there was scanty vegetation. This is a reconstruction of late Karabari vegetation and this is a reconstruction of Barakar vegetation. And this is a reconstruction of cool tier barren matters vegetations. And this is a reconstruction of running and vegetation. There was luxuriant growth of plants during the running and And this is the reconstruction was made by us, by me, my, and it has been mentioned in my thesis. This is a reconstruction of vegetation during the Barakar in E. River coal field, where almost all plant genera were reported and so we can we have depicted almost all plant genera in this forest the number says the which gen genus it is and this is a reconstruction of uh, vegetation, uh, vegetation reconstruction or reconstruction of forest during Gamki period during in e river basins this is reconstruction of uh, vegetation during Gamki period in the Algier basins so I have already discussed about the plants found in the plants found in uh, during Permian. Let me discuss about uh, the fauna plant found in Permian period. Let me show you a two minutes video. Video the cause these are all the faunas of Permian time and these are parts of Permian forest
ਜੀ ਥੈਂਕ ਯੂ ਕਿਤਾ ਕੋਈ ਦੀ ਕੀ ਲਵ ਨੂੰ ਬੋਲੀ ਪਰਮ ਸਿਟੀ ਤੇ ਕੋਈ ਦੇ ਖਾਲੀ ਜਸਟ ਕੋਈ ਦੇ ਇਹ ਸਭ ਤੋਂ ਕੁਆਇਟ ਨਾ ਹਾਂ ਖਾਲੀ ਜਸਟ ਕੋਈ ਰਿਕਵੈਸਟ ਕਰੇ ਉਹ ਕੋਈ ਨਹੀਂ ਹੂੰ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਦਾ ਮੋਨੋ ਪਰ and i have just discussed the biodiversity during permian time but i cannot discuss all these things in detail because of time constraint thank you very much thank you very uh, much sir thank you for, thank you for patient sharing and thank you for inviting me to deliver a lecture, lecture in this webinar thank you thank you very much sir for your you. uh, inspiring words and uh, uh, very nice presentation due to time constraint uh, we are not able to uh, ask the questions uh, shared by the participants so later on we will share the questions uh, to you sir so with